A portion of this video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. If you've seen my Samsung Galaxy S22 review video, you'll know that I very much like the design of this phone. The matte glass on the back and shiny aluminum frame look stunning. However, to keep this great design looking good, it is a smart idea to use a case. So with that in mind, today I'm going to be reviewing and comparing both the official Samsung silicone case as well as the leather cases for the Galaxy S22. These are both strong options, but each has their own unique strengths, so depending on what you look for, one may be better than the other. As always, I will leave the purchase links below the like button. Let's get started. So to start, the leather case comes in at 50 US dollars and comes in three colors, including the black version that I have here, whereas the uh, silicone case comes in at 30 US dollars and comes in five different colors, including also the black model that I have today. In terms of the weight, the leather case comes in at 23 grams, where the silicone case is 24 grams. The leather case may be one gram lighter, but both feel super light in the hand, and you can't really tell the difference. Let's compare the colors of the two cases. So starting with the leather case, uh, you can see that unlike the midnight color on the iPhone 13, this case comes in a true black. And this color is timeless and will easily complement your everyday carry. The silicone case, on the other hand, though also marketed as black, is more of a uh, dark gray. And you can really see this difference when I hold the cases side by side. Both colors look good, but in my opinion, the true black of the leather case pairs best with the phantom black of the S22. But let me know in the comments, which design do you prefer? So aside from price and color, um, the biggest difference between the two cases is of course the use of materials. Let's start with the leather case. The case fits firmly around the phone and the leather gives off a premium feel in the hand that only a leather case can. The fine grain leather texture not only looks good, but also provides a little bit of grip when using the phone, while still being smooth enough to easily slide in and out of your pocket. The structure of the case is also rigid, and I really like the aluminum buttons found only on the leather case. These buttons allow you to keep that tactile uh, and confident click of the original buttons on the S22. I much prefer this over the uh, silicone buttons that you'll find on the silicone case. Speaking of which, let's take a closer look at the silicone case. Like with the leather case, the silicone case has a snug fit around the phone. The silicone material used feels soft and smooth in the hand and definitely provides more grip compared to the leather case. But with that, like many silicone cases, it does attract some pocket lint and dust. Now, while this can be easily wiped off, you won't have this issue on the leather case. I do think though that the silicone case will provide more impact protection uh, compared to the leather case. One thing that does worry me just a little bit uh, is the parts of the case by the USB-C port and volume buttons, as these parts don't have any internal reinforcing, so do feel a bit flimsy on the silicone case. Now, before we look at each of these cases' top features uh, and which I think is best for who, I want to introduce you to an accessory that will complement any everyday carry. This is the Ridge Wallet. I have two here today, starting with the Carbon Fiber 3K Wallet, which uses lightweight and durable carbon fiber that looks super sharp. And next is my favorite, the Black Damascus Wallet. And this is made with laser engraved stainless steel that feels reassuringly dense in the hand and looks great, especially when reflecting light. Father's Day is just around the corner and the Ridge Wallet may just be the perfect gift. These wallets let you carry exactly what you need, eliminating the need for a big bulky wallet. The wallets hold 1 to 12 cards and also block RFID, and this means they cannot be scanned from the outside. Now, as someone who uses contactless or tap to pay on many of my cards, this is a really reassuring feature to have. The Carbon Fiber 3K wallet can be purchased with a money clip or cash strap like I have here, where the Black Damascus wallet comes with both in the box. Oftentimes with card holder wallets, it can be difficult to access your cards, but this is not the case here. Simply find the indent on the bottom of the wallet, then push up, and then you can instantly and easily access all of your cards. To learn more, be sure to head to ridge.com slash Dion and use the code Dion at checkout to get 15% off your order. Thank you to Ridge for supporting the channel. Now back to the cases for the S22. Now I wanna go over the top features that both of these cases have. Again, both cases feature that perfect fit for the S22, and both also provide 360-degree protection with all sides covered. 
Both cases also have slightly raised edges going around the display, uh, as well as the camera unit, which will protect them from surfaces when being placed down. This is an important feature that I look for in any case. The USB-C port is easily accessible and the speaker remains clear. I also really like the microfiber lining uh, found on the inside of the case. Now we've also seen this with Apple's cases and this will help protect the phone when taking it in and out of the case. Like the Galaxy S22 itself, both cases have a slight camera bump on the back, but these are less pronounced than on the S22, so it won't wobble as much on a table when typing. All right, so which case is best and which do I prefer? Well, starting with the leather case. This case is perfect to use in the office or at a nice restaurant. This case looks good and means business. The leather feels high-end and I think perfectly complements the high-quality build of the Galaxy S22. The leather texture feels good in the hand and it's easy to take in and out of your pocket. Combined with the metal buttons, the leather case is a design that doesn't take away, but instead adds to the impressive design of the S22. However, that's not to say that the silicone case doesn't have some strengths of its own. I think the silicone case is perfect for working out. The grippy silicone texture means the phone is more secure and the silicone is more resistant to water, uh, so can easily be cleaned with a damp cloth or disinfectant wipe. The silicone case also features the same great fit and silhouette of the leather case, but at a significantly lower price, though it doesn't have those metal buttons. So which do I prefer? Well, as a tech reviewer, I carry two phones, my iPhone 13 and my Galaxy S22. And if you've seen any of my iPhone 13 videos, you will know that I love using Apple's leather case on most days. And the same is true for the S22. The leather case for me just takes more boxes and is better suited for my lifestyle. But regardless of which case you choose, I think you will not be disappointed. Samsung has done well with these cases, and again, I will leave the purchase links down in the description. Let me know if you have any questions. If you haven't seen them yet, I highly recommend watching my full S22 review, as well as my iPhone 13 long-term review video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.